So, so, what's up, YouTube? Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, or what is the time, wherever you are. <laughs> Kim Evans here uh, with another video in my garage. It has been long since I posted anything new in my garage, and uh, today I have a really special case. Um, I have here uh, W. Um, yeah, you call it one series, first series BMW, I think it's a 2016 model. And uh, we have a special case here whereby we I need to change the uh, brake parts, brake calipers, and um, brake discs, and brake, um, brake parts as well, because uh, uh, the owner is a friend of mine who just asked me to do this kind of... Um, service because she went to uh inspection and she was told like she has to change the brake parts uh and also the and as you can see here we don't have um i will have to open the tire so that you can see exactly what i mean uh the brake disc is really um gone small but it has a meat still and uh, yeah excuse the dirtiness here because i think that's why the brake are really worn up it is because of um, maybe the brake disc was almost on its end uh, it never had meat anymore but i don't know there's something producing here i don't know what is it but i have um, to open to see exactly what is inside and uh, it's a diesel engine i think it has 100 and uh, let me open the bonnet so that you can see what i telling it's automatic um, the light is not really good here it's really dark today it's automatic i think six speed uh, automatic gearbox um, it has some um, echo uh, sport mode uh, some uh, driving um, options here and uh, yeah it's really nice car uh, i like it i never drove bmw as much but uh, yeah let's see what is what is in the hood what is in the engine here so i've already jet the car up now it's time to remove the tire and uh, i'm using my impact gun here because uh, it makes it work easier so So these nuts were not really tight enough, I don't know why, but yeah. So, it's really hard, but you just have to hit it, I don't have the hammer, but uh, oh. wait. So guys, this is the engine. As you can see, it's written twin power turbo, twin power turbo engine uh, from BMW. I don't know, does it mean it has twin turbos or um, it has a twin turbine? I don't know. Yes, I'm not much of BMW fan, but uh, it's a good experience today to see what it is. This is the diesel particle filter. This is... Um, um, yeah, catalyst converter and uh, it doesn't look really complicated uh, when you compare with other BMWs the engine is quite smaller but I've said this is diesel uh, with I think 700 um, 170 PS today we are not going to do anything here I'm going also to change the oil for this car but not today I don't know how many hours do I need to and also I need to change the um, uh, fuel filter and uh, air filter as well and uh, here we got some spare parts from auto parts online this is a german auto dog um, company with uh, car accessories and uh, here we have the uh, brake parts from um, from ATE 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 <laughs> german in me it's called ATE I think it's a good company as well and uh, we have also some oil filter here we have 
we, I think we have fuel filter, oil filter, and um, some air filter here. And uh, these are the brake discs that uh, we are going to change. It arrived yesterday. And uh, also taking this video, guys, to uh, introduce to you my top tone uh, diagnostic um, computer um, OBD here, OBD2. I bought it some few weeks ago. It was quite expensive. And uh, because um, I wanted to use it in my Tiguan, uh, this is it, TomTon, TopTon, Adidoc, I think 800BT, it's Bluetooth, it has the the Bluetooth uh, thing here, and uh, sorry, maybe you're not seeing it, but yeah, this will be the video for another day, and uh, because this car unit, this kind of uh, possibility, you can, you have to reset everything there, because if you see um, the information system here, let me just put it on and then there's a lot of warning and all this uh, brake warning service, uh, service resets, uh, brake resets, uh, oil resets, I have also to do with this uh, diagnostic um, um, because after doing the oil service, you see, it has continued journey at the moderate speed, the brake check tires pressure, I mean, the, but the main thing is the brakes that uh, needs to be changed. And uh, after we have done all the service, I'm going to use my OBD here to uh, reset everything. And uh, But I will going to make an extra video for my um, OBD2 here. It's really a handy gadget uh, with so many options and so many possibilities and uh, it um, works with all types of cars and you get the lifetime updates and uh, yeah i had a small one that i used to connect with my phone but uh, right now i've upgraded to this one and uh, yeah i will leave it here but the rest we have to do with the changing brake change and uh yeah, so I will just take you through, guys, how to change it. A BMW, the first series BMW 2016 model. The brake pads and the brake. Oh, the lights are on. I need to switch off. You see, there's the warning there that uh, brake system drive moderately because uh, this is the main uh, issue what we are having here. She might have went to inspection and she was told like she has to change the brake of uh, the old brake system. Um, a lot of persuasion, the tire entry is out at last. And uh, these are the reason why by uh, people are not... Um, uh, that shows you like the tire has not been changed over a, a longer period of time. Uh, that's why when... Normally here it's a lot of heat because of the brakes. Normally you have to clean it completely before you put the tire back to remove all the the dirtiness in this area here because of the heat and the, a lot some dirtiness and stuff coming together contact with heat and here is always tight, so it became like a, a glue, you know. So it always really recommended that you have to. Um, wash or clean here with a wire brush like this one or with sandpaper before putting the tire together back so here is it how so um yeah so this is the what we are going to tackle it right now you can see from this direction i don't know if you can really see the uh yeah, it has really been uh, eaten up. Uh, where is the key? Yeah, there's a millimeter inside already. Uh, where are you here? So, the brake part seems to be okay. And, uh, yeah, but the owner just asked to that we change everything. So whatever what we are going to do, we are going to remove the brake caliper here, the brake disc, and also the uh, caliper holder or caliper bracket, the spring, and this is the uh, brake fluid pipe, 
and this is the brake sensor uh, yeah I think that is also the brake sensor and uh, whatever we're going to do we are going to remove the six millimeter bolt here I'm not there this is the sliding pins uh, where's the light let me give you the light here yeah there so the sliding pins we are going to remove uh, later on there are some 12 millimeter nuts also that holds the uh, the, the caliper bracket here with so I'm trying now the first you remove the spring that holds the brakes together I think it, it acts also as a security but uh, the brake parts will not come out now you just have to use the just a screwdriver like this and then it just come out like this one so it's really I hope I have also the new one because it's really recommended that you have to when you change it you have also to remove it because it undergoes a lot of heat and uh, with a period of time it's going to be uh, not anymore acting the way it should be because of the heat and the rust and uh, so it's really recommended that you have also to change and also this hex bolt here also it has to be replaced when you don't have the new one it's really recommend you can use it still but it's really recommended that uh, you just make everything new and yeah this is from the BMW um, also there's uh, two cups here that I have to remove it so that I can access the Allen key nuts like that one or oh, one is already gone this one here so this plastic cups that uh, I hope you can see it I don't know yeah these two of them the one up and the one down has to be removed so you have to use the uh, I don't know which number is it I think number six yeah you just have to make sure that you Can get you the stick uh, have to do it because you don't have any other uh, so guys I just removed the sliding pins uh, these are sliding pins these are how they look like and um, I think they are about uh, I don't know the size exactly because uh, my Allen key here doesn't show it shows me the, um, number eight and uh, so these are the sliding pins so a really important thing also I want to depress um, to, to press the uh, brake caliper inside and the brake fluid is going to go back to the reservoir and uh, the good thing to do is you have to remove the you have to open the brake fluid reservoir cup on top so that the pressure will uh, the air will escape up so if you don't know where the uh, from the bmw the, um, the uh, first generation series bmw brake fluid reservoir is located in this position you have to remove to open the 10 millimeter plastic nuts here and it is just here so so you and I think it's layer yeah, we have to add it I hope yeah it's really low make sure that the cup top is clean before you open it uh, because normally there's a lot of uh, dust here so just open it and leave it just like this and maybe for additional protection before you messed up you put a, a cloth here I don't know if I have the cloth but uh, yeah the brake fluid is down it's okay so it's not going to be much so and uh, to press the caliper the brake fluid is going back but let me just put I have my cloth here just in case the fluid comes so we are protected now so yeah here we are just it's playing so
So that is it. Make sure that you hang it somewhere before uh, leaving the caliper. Just come like this. Actually, they are still okay, but uh, it's good to replace it when you replace the brake disc. Yeah. So the second thing is to remove the um, caliper holder, or I don't know how do you call this one, caliper bracket here. This one. There are two nuts here and here, and then it just comes out. Then we are ready to change the brake parts. So this is 14 millimeter. Touch it. To open them. Nuts here. And the other one on top. I need to use an extender because it's really tight here. Also, it's really highly recommended to change these 14 millimeter nuts. Really highly recommended to change these ones. But uh, yeah, I don't know ex exactly what we have it in the box. The new parts that we bought uh, is if everything is there, but uh, we have to see. So it's out thoroughly to be cleaned. It's really dirty because of you know this is all where the the brake. Is happening so that's why there's a lot of uh, mud uh, rust because also it's all um, it's always hot also so yeah we are done with the first tire now it's time to clean all this with wire brush and uh, yeah. so last but not least we have to remove the before removing the brake disc we have to remove the the inner hex bolt this one with six millimeter allen key and uh, you really have to make sure that it's the the it fits really complete inside if you have bad luck it's going to switch and you are going to have really problem when opening it i will try to spray around with um wt-40 just in case but I want to try first to see how hard it is before I spray here because I don't want to make a lot of uh, yeah so it's really windy guys I hope you can hear me I have to lock the tires because it's, it's it will rotate with me so this way and fingers crossed just like that normally it's not being uh, tightened it completely some few pounds of torque uh, because it's just to secure the the brake disc here normally the brake disc is already secured with uh, six one two three four five six nuts with a tire so it's just for security purposes I think so also it is always um, not easy to remove it because uh, yeah it's really uh, tight here but uh, let me just try to see if it's coming out so after some few times some hammering and rotating the disc and hammering it just came out I don't care if it is going to get kaput because I've already I have the new one and uh, yeah so this is the disc 
and we have to clean before putting the new one you have to put some copper fat here so that it will not be anti seize stuff so yeah so here so this is the old disc I just want to open it and to see if everything is the same because uh, it can be a small mistake that maybe we ordered wrong parts but uh, I just want to see if everything is matching so of course the brake parts this is the used brake part you see how much uh, wait focus 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 yeah so there this is the old one and this is new one you see the difference focus focus yes it has a lot of meat guys and this is gone so this is the same thing the new one the old one wow this was really eaten this was really eaten guys so yeah now it's time to see if the uh wait started to rain outside but uh yeah so wow wow so looking good these are the new i think it has been um coated it doesn't rust uh yeah, so I think also we have to, uh, in the factory being, uh, it has a lot of uh, uh, oil on it to keep them from uh, getting rust when being stored in the shops or something. So we have also to clean it with the gray, um, yeah, these are the paper certifications and um, I hope they are really matching. I hope they are really the same. They are really the same same size same nuts and everything is the same so yeah it's waiting The person who ordered the parts for me, I had asked also to buy the copper um, copper grid so that I will have to apply it here. It prevents it for the next time it to be uh, tight the way it, it was today when I was trying to open it. It was really tight here because uh, yeah, when the metal and metal become in contact with each other for a longer period of time more so when it's really hot they tend to become one you know they become like super glue and that's why uh, it's really recommended to make sure that here is clean and also if it's no, if it's going to be not um, if you're going to put the brake disc here and it's not really straight the, the, the tire is going to wumble when it's driving so make sure that it's clean, you can clean also with the brake fluid cleaner and, yeah, and wipe it with a smooth cloth, everything is clean, I just wiped it with a cloth completely and uh, also make sure that inside is clean. Put this one inside to align it completely maybe two only and then loosen it because it was not really in the direct position the nuts now are aligning 
so I can tighten the small one but still I want to try to tighten it more because uh, then the nuts will be really on the center Remove it. So after we have done everything here, we have also to wipe the disc with a brake cleaner so that uh, we will not uh, have contact with grease and stuff. Here. Right here. Make sure you put the um, Loctite, sorry, it's called Loctite uh, before putting back the 14 millimeter nuts behind. So the 13 millimeter nut here is tight. And so You make sure that everything is lining up when you rotate the brake disc make sure that it's not wumbling or it doesn't change any pattern here like it's uniform that everything is okay so the next is now the brake caliper and uh, the brake parts yeah so before putting it uh, the brake caliper inside because um, yeah I have to press the piston inside uh, with my stuff here because uh, the brake parts which are new they have a, a bigger size of uh, brake parts and that's why we had opened the uh, brake risk when I press the piston the brake fluid goes back backwards and uh, it's going to fill again the cup and uh, yeah so this is nice about the BMW guys. This is the <laughs> ventilation to cool the brakes when the car is moving, you know. Yeah, this is BMW to the brakes when they are hot. So it's really go good idea. So yeah, let's push the piston behind. So guys, uh, just uh, don't push the piston too much inside more than the way it should be so I think this way is okay I can still push it more but I just wanted to leave it that way it's not really advisable that you push it more inside and uh, yeah where the contact between the brake parts and the um, caliper holder here you have to uh, put anti squeal it's called anti squeal paste brakes uh, you know it's it's really kaput never ever touch uh, your brake parts with grease it's going to have problems put it inside and press it there's a hollow um, place here for the piston so let's try again and see if it is going to fit i can even try to push it with my fingers and it still goes so hope it fits yeah now we are inside so sliding pins grease here here because uh from the from the new um brake parts we just found only the the inner hex um nut here and the, the rest were not there so but it's okay we can just use this one for the moment uh, it doesn't have to change much so after that you have to clean completely the same problems so just to clean it So the first tire, the first part of the brakes is done. 
So remember the plastic covers here, you put it back after the sliding pins. Uh, tighten them nicely. And uh, yeah, so everything works nicely. So the next one is the back tire. And then that's it. The front tire is here, just to put it back inside, to close it, put the jack down. And then we go for road test, but not now, I don't know. The weather is really not friendly. But uh, yeah, this is how my garage looks like. <laughs> so many stuffs. But uh, yeah, we still have one to go. And uh, yeah, the new brake parts and then, yeah, we are good to go. So guys, I'm uh, on the rear axle behind, and uh, yeah, I just also discovered that the, this uh, BMW is using also the rear axle for driving. It's like my Mazda; it has the rear axle. Um, it has the shaft here. This is the shaft, and uh, there's a diff uh, behind there, and there's the straight shaft that goes to the gearbox and uh yeah i can't put the, the to neutral so um right now it's uh yeah the behind actually is a bit challenging when it comes to when trying to remove the let me give you the lights here the first generation bmv behind here it's really uh, it's so tight you have really less space to maneuver your your spanners and everything also the down one here sorry i'm really shaking so there's this sliding pin here and also the one, the one uh, beneath the brake caliper here. So yeah, it's the same principle but it's a bit um, uh, it's a bit tight. Uh, it's, no, it's not like the front one. The front one had a lot of space but this one doesn't have. But uh, yeah, so also this is a brake sensor. Sorry guys, I, I thought that the one which I was showing you in front is a brake sensor, but this is not. In front that is a speedometer reader or something. Or maybe for the AB, uh, braking, uh, electronic braking system. But this is the sensor I realized and uh, it is connected with, um, with the brake part here. So I just, I've already removed here with this nipple here it is always connected together with this nipple here so yeah, and it goes to the computer but yeah so it was also hard to remove the tire because i think the tire has, has not been changed over over a period of time so it was also really hard to come out but uh yeah it is already there so guys um this is the brake wear sensor um like a good example right now is uh the brake parts has been really worn out and uh, this sensor um uh gives the signal to the system like that uh the brake parts are being worn out and this is this was too much worn out in that uh the the brake disc had a contact with the sensor by its, itself here and you see it's already 
uh, damaged and I think uh, it's a good idea to replace also the sensor by itself I think the cable goes somewhere up to here so the sensor has to be replaced but I don't know if this sensor is still working I just want to try and see if uh, if it is reusable I'm not really uh, recommending it but I don't have the options right now and uh, yeah I will clear the cords I will clear this uh, brake service from the from the system and I hope it will disappear I think this was already too much the brake parts was was really worn out completely um, as you can see so yeah this is really the I think it was already on metal to metal when you compare with the new ones here you see yeah now yeah let's just see how it will go and you know what has happened I have destroyed my 16 millimeter socket here so it's already gone so I'm using now the oh, ring spanner and these are the two nuts which are really this is already out uh, this one but th this one is really uh, not coming this one so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to um, to cut with the flex here just to access the nut to spray with uh, uh, WT-40 maybe it will I've tried to hit with my heat gun here but still it's not coming out I just hit also here around and the disc is coming out but because of this um, bracket here it's not coming because there's so many particles coming out so. So I just have to cut the same like this one so that the bracket can come out and I can remove it. cut somewhere here and here. So guys it's out <coughs> but what I realized also like um, it has the contracting handbrake inside. Uh, these are brake parts but only for used for the handbrakes. So um, I'm just too late to, to realize like I could adjust the handbrake to squeeze inside so that I can remove the brake caliper because it took me a lot of time to remove it. I was really wondering why, what is, um, the handbrake is down but uh, still um, the parts here are holding the, the disc, the drum disc, the, the drum inside. So it's not really coming out. So I had to force it out with hammer but I just, uh, I was too late to see they are adjusting positions here you can adjust the 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 handbrake through this uh, spring return spring here so yeah, it was too late but uh, yeah if you are just wondering why your disc is not coming out it is because the handbrake inside is holding it and you can adjust through this uh, um, adjusting bolts here there's another one also here uh, so these are the brand new uh, brake discs from for behind, and uh, this is the old one. <laughs> and uh, uh, you can see this is uh, really looking good. So I'm just using now bare hand because I don't want to touch uh, the part by itself. Just to slide in, I just cleaned it every here already and uh, so this is our new hex nut uh, it came uh, with uh, with a part so next is the, the spring here I think so now we're inside. 
yeah, so I had to turn the other the other side because uh, to access the other tires, of course. <laughs> yes, the front one is done. It took me really less time because now I'm used to it. And uh, so the remaining part is uh, the rear axle and then we will be done with the brakes and then yeah maybe the oil change or something else next So guys, that was it. I just have to tighten just to have the feeling because I don't have the uh, torque wrench. But uh, I think according to my feeling, this is it is okay. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. It's waiting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, so guys, um, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I'm done. Everything is fine. Thank you here with my BMW here. I wash the rims, and you see they are shiny like new. So it's completed now. Everything is clean and the brakes are new, the brake discs are new and uh, the car looks better, the car looks nicer and we, the most important thing we, we have the new brakes and the, the new disc. Uh, the remaining thing now is uh, to reset the brakes with my OBD uh, that I showed you earlier so guys uh, i just did some few tests to drive and uh, to see if everything is okay uh remembering that this is my first time working on bmw uh, the first generation and everything seems to be okay but uh right now i want to now clear the course uh, to do the service reset uh, i had showed you some um my new um sorry let me show you uh, uh, it's really zooming. My new um, OBD reader. Uh, it was quite expensive. I bought it some few months ago, just to help me to do some research. It has a lot of um, so many information that uh, you can do the um, uh, you can read the V number for the car. You can do the maintenance services, you can repair, you can... It has a lot of things, but uh, I will make a next video um, concerning this thing here. But uh, right now I want to do the service reset, brake service reset, and uh, so that uh, the system will not be showing that uh, I've already changed the brake parts, everything works well, but now the system computer has to be uh, um, reset. If you don't know where the OBD2 port on BMWs, the first generation cars, it's located here. Let me show you where it is. It is located here. This is the OBD port. And uh, yeah, here I have my, you know, it's called BT. BT it stands for Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth port. Then I have to just put it inside here. 
and yeah you see it's showing there but now we have to come here so I'm connected I have to do the automatic scan um, automatic scan I will have to come here scan uh, I will do the auto scan just to find the pin um, the OBD it it, uh, it comes with a lifetime update and um, it, it updates itself automatically so you don't have to pay more to to update the software because as I've said earlier it works with so many cars it works with I don't know I think the all cars which are available so yeah so it's sort of automatic scanning beam scan <laughs> uh, it's still trying to find out yeah it has found it took some few minutes and uh, it took about maybe um, 10 to 15 seconds to find out the the V number of the car and now it shows that it's BMW and uh, yeah, I wanted to show you the, the, it shows even the mileage. It can tell even the mileage of the car. V number, first series generation, uh, gearbox is automatic. It shows you the country, Deutschland. And uh, yeah, so this is the mileage you see it. So if you buy a car and you find out that maybe you are not sure about the mileage, you can use also do use this um, tool to show you. Okay, so I want to do the service reset for the brakes. I want to go home here. Yes, I will go home. Um, go back. And then I want to do the maintenance, service and maintenance. Service and maintenance, I have 28 options. Service resets. Uh, coolant, brakes, EGR, ETS, um, EMO. This is already to reset the key. If you buy a key and you want to 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 connect with your car, you can use also use this feature here. OBD, knock sensor, seat oil. But uh, right now it's so many of them. But now I want to do this um, just to do the brake reset. Switch ignition on. I've switched already the ignition on. This tool is really pretty handy because uh, um, I I was using the small one, but uh, the small one was not gi really giving me what I need. But this one is going into depth, into details of any information that you are looking from the car. Yeah, guys, this is what I meant by saying don't wait until the, your brakes are completely worn out, until the sensors also are being um, are worn out as well. The front brake, the control unit detects that the brake pads were um, wear sensor is worn through. So the the control unit ignores the reset procedure until the brake pads wear sensor is replaced. Yeah, I need now to, but the car can be driven. It's only the sensors wear sensor are kaput. I mean because the brake pads were being used until the sensors also have been contacted. So, yeah. Yeah, so I will just still t have to initiate uh, the reset procedure because uh, I know the car now is safe to be driven. I say yes. And uh, front brake seal reset being performed. Please wait. Yeah, not because of the seal problems. Brake part square sensor not renewed. Parking brake operator and uh, yeah, okay. So everything is okay now. So guys, I'm not able to do the brake reset because uh, the sensors has to be replaced. But uh, yeah, this is the work for another day. Enough time right now uh, because it takes a lot of time. But I, I think I don't have to remove the the, the, the the brakes again. I think I have to just to remove the sensors and just to replace it without uh, removing the, the brake parts again because it, it's a lot of work. But uh, yeah so guys that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoy sorry <laughs> so guys this is um the end of this video and um 
hope you guys are doing fine um it was really my first experience with bmws but um it's uh when i get used to it it's something that i can do it frequently i mean because it was my first time it took me longer than uh, than usual like my master i could do it with some <laughs> some few hours but this one took me a lot of time um i think today I, this is the second day i started on saturday it took me almost half a day on saturday today it took me about three hours to change the the brake parts front and rear axle but uh, everything works now i did a lot of resets brake fluid reset but it has to be done also as well but um yeah the owner will have to check uh what are some other options so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please uh subscribe to the channel and uh, we will see us for the next um, episode thank you so much and god bless you